Okay, so the next feature I want to talk about here is very powerful, and I just love this one. I spent a lot of time working on it. It's absolutely amazing. And what it is is the text to speech. So if you go to tools and you select text to speech, you can bring it up this way. And also, if you're in the script editor, you will see it text to speech button right here. So if you got content inside here, it will actually just recognize it and put it into the text to speech right here. So anyhow, now this is absolutely amazing. Let me explain what's going on here. So this uses a an API online that offers some free text to speech. So let me show you where that is because you're going to have to go and get your API key. But don't worry, it's absolutely free. And um, let me show you here. So let's just get to our web. Actually, let's go to our settings and go to text to speech and you'll see the link right here. It's called 11 labs. It's one of the best I've ever seen. It's great. So click on there. It'll take you right to 11labs.io and all you have to do is just click sign up and sign up with your email. Now, I actually have three accounts. Now, if you go if you go back to 11 labs here and you look at pricing, they offer a free one here. Um, but they offer 10,000 characters per month for free. And I've signed up multiple times because I actually did it because I want to do it for this video um, before. And I, and I realized you can sign up for multiple accounts. I actually have three of them. So technically I have 3,000 characters per month. No, sorry, not 3,000, 30,000. So I'm not going to sign up again, but basically you just sign up and you can get a free account. And once you're in there, so I'll just sign into my account and then go to speech synthesis. And I currently have 3000 in there left. And if you go to your profile, you're going to see your API key right here. So what you want to do is you want to, um, basically click the little button there and then grab it and control C on your keyboard and now you have your API key. So I'm not sure if they have some sort of restriction of using multiple accounts but I've taken advantage of that in the software anyway. So what you do is I actually this might be blurred out right now so I'm not showing my API keys but if you have multiple accounts all you have to do is just put each API key in here separated by a comma. So I'll do that the end here, I'll put a comma and then I'll control V, paste my API key in there. But this actual API key is actually already in there. So I'm not going to do that again. But once you're done there, you just click apply and you'll have it. And now if I go to my text to speech tool up here, you can select your account. So I got three accounts and you select and you can see it'll connect down here. I'm on the free plan. Um, I still have 3000 characters left for this particular month and this is when it's going to reset the data but let's go into account number two and you see i got ten thousand so if you go and sign up for multiple free accounts you can just put it'll just automatically recognize them if you put multiple api keys in that settings so that's pretty cool so this basically i basically have thirty thousand free um per month but there's one thing i do want to stress um on the 11 labs website if you go to their pricing you will notice here um, it says attribution to 11 labs io is required when you're using the free version so what that kind of means is let's say you make a sales video so just underneath that sales video in little tiny text or something like that just say this was made with 11 labs.io and it doesn't have to be a link to their site just a little piece of text that just says hey look this is was created by 11 labs.io and it's no big deal. I mean, if you make a YouTube video just in the description somewhere, just put, you know, made by 11labs.io. It's really that simple. But I recommend doing that because that's what they want. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and talk about some of the features. So the first thing you really want to do is check out the preview samples here. So you click here, you'll notice you've got all these different voices. And then you'll see beside the voice, it gives you some descriptions of kind of what this voice represents. So it's American accent, it's kind of calm, young person, female. It's good for narration. This one's good for video games, things like that. So then you just kind of click in here and you can hear a little sample. 
I'm not sure if you could hear that. I don't know if my volume is set up high enough. Let's see if you can hear it. Gratitude is not only the greatest of virtues, but the parent of all the others. So that's pretty loud. I don't want to be too loud there. <laughs> Anyhow, you, you can go through it and you can hear the different voices. And, and then when you're happy with the voice you want, you come in here and you select it. But what I'd like to do is show an example of this. Um, actually, before I do the example, I do want to explain what the, the stability and the clarity features mean. You click this little help button, it gives you more information. I got this information from the 11 Labs website. But from what I can understand is basically the default settings is, is this. So I go default. This is the default that you're going to see when you first start the software. And that's kind of like the default they give you inside of 11 Labs. But what I like doing, I notice that if this slider up here, if you kind of go like further this way, you'll notice that the AI voice won't have much expression. It'll almost sound like monotone in a sense. You know, and sometimes that's what you may want, you know, but if you go the other way, it gets more expressive. So like, for example, when I'm talking, I'd like to like be more expressive, be like, oh man, that is amazing. Like it has so much expression in there instead of, oh man, that is amazing, right? So <laughs> that's the difference. So if you come over here, you get more expression. Over here, it's more non-expression. And, and if you go right to the extremes, funny things could happen so and then this one here is a, like the clarity kind of think of that like it's more clear and less kind of more artifacts down here but so my favorite settings i've noticed i kind of like it down here a bit and then kind of up here a little bit that's kind of the settings that i find that kind of have a lot of expression and very clear and nice but you know you gotta want to play around with it a little bit and so um what i like doing here is like say i like a special um a special combination voice stability and clarity so let's say there's a certain combination I like using quite a bit instead of trying to remember these settings all the time I created this settings profile option and this is pretty neat this is not offered inside of 11 labs I created this in this software so if you click on this you can save this profile so you save the voice stability and clarity all you have to do is just go add and now that's saved now, whenever you want to use a voice profile, just go use and it'll just, just like that, it's so easy. And you can have your favorite voice clarity, um, voice setting profile setting. So if you're on the default and you wanted a different one, just boom, it remembers for you. So that's pretty cool. That's one little feature I added in there as well. So, okay, now that we kind of understand what's going on here, what I want to do is an example of how we can use this to create a story. So let's head over to the scripts and type in story. Make a creative story. Now let's say I wanted to make basically a, a children, a children's story, magical story to help sleep, like a sleep story. It, that seems to be like a really popular thing on on YouTube where you have these faceless um, YouTube accounts where people provide these very calming stories for uh, for children to fall asleep or not just children any anyone so there's like a big niche in there so let's just kind of do that here so who is the main character in the story let's just put Elsa and let's stick with uh, mystical forest and the point of view, you know, first person there. How many words? Let's just say like 500 or something like that, or maybe even less, just let's go 300, because sometimes it doesn't give you exactly 300. But So we generate the prompt. Let's go over here and paste it. And of course, we didn't have to use ChatGPT. We could have used any of the other options in here, like uh, Bing Chat or... Google Bard or, or one of the experimental ones or whatever. So we'll just let it finish here. All right, so we can go ahead and we can copy that and we can bring up the editor if we'd like and paste it in here and we can save it for later if we would want to do that. Or let's go ahead and just click on the text-to-speech and it throws it in there. I'm actually going to paste it from my clipboard because it was, had some paragraphs there, make it a little bit easier. 
and we can see we got 1877 characters in here now, I do want to mention that there is a limit you can only post a maximum of 2500 characters per post or per um, conversion so this is a text to speech conversion if there's more than 2500 in here then it will it won't limit you but I have a, a workaround for that so with that said this story isn't actually long enough because I want to show you that other feature as well I'll go back to my browser uh, where was it here I did this before and this is the story it produced I think I asked it to make it longer like 500 words or something like that so let's just copy this here and if I put this into here let's get that out of the way there so let's clear that and I'm gonna paste in the other one now we can see there's 3347 characters so in the free plan if you try to um, post more you try to do more than 2500 characters we'll get a warning so now the next thing I want to do is I want to select my I like the sound of Dorothy for the actual voice and you can kind of see down here there's actually one that says Dorothy says children's story so that's why I selected that one and it's quite calming so I'm gonna go stability down here and nice and clear up here now here's the cool thing now if I go to try to create the audio it's gonna say there's only a maximum of 2,500 characters you have to split up the content so in order to split up the content I made it very simple so instead of you know taking the content out of here and saving it like in a text file and splitting it up manually and then posting it in here twice what you can do is just I know that there's 3,300 characters so somewhere midway say for example right here all you have to do is split up the content and I made it really simple all you do is just right click and select insert split code and it just inserts this little text here this square brackets with the word split in the middle of it now the software is going to know to split these into two different chunks and then it's going to submit each chunk separately to um, 11 labs using their API system it's going to send them both and create the audios download the audios and at the same time combine the audios together for you to give you one single audio of everything so I did this to make this super fast so you can you know you can do longer content and you don't have to keep doing and then combine the audios together and all that so it does it automatically for you now another cool thing I did if I just delete that you can right click and just select auto insert and with that it will just automatically insert the split for you like that now the one thing I do want to mention is you want to have the most content for each chunk as you possibly can so that the AI can kind of understand what's going on and and adapt its voice a lot better so it, it would be you can see here it kind of stuck the let me make this a little bit bigger it kind of stuck that split um, down a little bit so we could take that and just move it up a bit so I don't know let's just put it like right here and I'll go right click and insert so that's a little bit higher more content for each split so now all we have to do is go ahead and click the create audio and it will say look there's some split codes in there this is going to separate uh, generate separate mp3 files and then combine them together so if you want to continue click yes and ask us where we want to save it so you can see here I've been working with it here and you'll notice when it saves it it adds one two three and then makes the final one so let's go ahead and save it's generating the first one it does take a bit for 11 labs to generate these audios so it's it can take like I, I know it's maybe like around 20 seconds to a minute or something like that so so just finish the first one should be just about done now I was kind of pausing the video there so you don't have to wait but I think I should be done here 
Once upon a time, okay. you find yourself in a magical forest, but you are not alone. You are walking hand in hand with a little girl named Elsa. <laughs> it's just absolutely amazing. The quality of the audio that comes out of here is just phenomenal. So let me just, I'll play a little bit more and I'll turn it up here. Just give me a second. I'll turn it up a little bit so you can just hear it. She's clad in a soft twinkling gown, her eyes wide with wonder as the trees around you whisper secrets only the wind can understand. Look around, you tell Elsa, guiding her to a clearing. So you can see the quality of, this, of that audio is just phenomenal. That's why I wanted to put 11 Labs in here. So I just made it really easy that you can just pump out longer audio files. It, will, like, it automatically combine it. So if we go to file and let's just look at that. Sorry. Um, if you go to file and go open last working folder, this is where the audios were sent. So you'll see tape modified. So these ones are the one. So it gives you the name of the, the way I saved the file here, it's the name that you selected, the stability and clarity are put right in here. So you know next time if you ever see this file, be like, oh, that's what I used. And then it's just a random number here. Um, but this is the first audio, the second audio, and then the combined audio. So if you don't want these anymore, you can just, you know, just delete them. And this is the final one that you could use in wherever you want to create your story or whatever marketing you're doing. But definitely play around with this, try the different voices and take advantage of the fact that you can have multiple accounts. So we use the second account for this one and not the first one. So technically speaking, you know, they're allowing you to have multiple free accounts. You can set up like five accounts and have 50,000 characters a month and then uh, come in here and you can take advantage of that split the content in here, split it up really easily so you can have multiple um, audio files generated. Now, let's say you created a bunch of audio files without using that split um, command, that split code. You just had smaller chunks and you want to combine them together. You can easily do that by clicking the combine button right here. Then you just select the files that you want to combine. So let's say I want to combine these three. Click OK. Then you'll see that audio file just showed up right here as combined. So that's how easy it is to combine them together. You can also just right click and select combine MP3s as well. I do want to mention one thing about that split. Um, Try and, like you can type the word, you can type it in there if you want. You just do your square brackets and type the word split. Now, I, obviously, without you kind of without saying basically, you don't want to put split right in the center of an actual sentence or paragraph or something like that. Like you want to have it because it will the content will stop right here and then start there in the next file. So kind of goes without saying, but just just in case you're thinking, you, you definitely don't want to do that put it in between a paragraph kind of like that. In fact, when you right click and go auto, like insert the content, it actually puts it on the next line, no matter where you're at. So you see, it doesn't actually let you put it in there. I did that on purpose. So you don't accidentally put it inside of a sentence. But that's basically it. This video is getting kind of long now, but I really wanted to show you how awesome this tool is. Um, you know, take advantage of the fact that you can use that split and you could do, um, a ton of content and just in one post you can have the entire story there that's like 5,000 characters or 6,000 characters and just let it do its thing and boom you get a single audio file and you don't have to mess around with the combining it and all that kind of stuff you run out of um, keyword you run out of words or characters for your account just go ahead and switch to another account if you need another account just go in and sign up with another email address so that's the only thing you need you just have separate email addresses for each account and it seems to work so you can get a free you get another free email account just from Gmail so Anyhow, that's how this tool works. And um, hopefully you find this is going to be very useful for your marketing. It just amazing audios come out of 11 labs. So I recommend testing it out and trying it for your marketing needs.